All right, so we're going live now, and ah, my dear Ugandan friend, why are you so sad? Daddy, please look at my hair. Look at how bad it looks. There's nothing wrong with your hair. I haven't done it in three weeks. I can't even find any hairstylist. I've got you sorted. Easy fix. Just download it on your iOS or Android phone, and you're good to go. Wait, well, can I also get clients? Because I'm also a caterer, and I've failed to get clients. Only you can't do hair. Only you work on the radio. <laughs> Only you cater. Is it my Don't worry. Easy fix will still solve your problem, but this time it's Easy Fix Pro. Guys, there's a new work mobile app in Nigeria, and it's called Easy Fix Africa Pro. I think it's the best work app in Nigeria for now. The app enables business owners, taxi drivers, and skilled professionals receive job offers and also search for jobs around them. The app actually serves as your online business office and will enable you receive service requests from customers. Whether you have a physical business office or not, EasyFix Africa Pro will make you visible online and more flexible in business. Download the app for only 2,500 Naira a year. No commission fees and that means 2,500 Naira now and you don't pay again for one whole year. Download EasyFix Africa Pro for 2,500 Naira only and EasyFix Africa for free and start enjoying the services. Ooh. Thank you. If I go and do your hair. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Daddy Freeze, convener of the Free the Sheeple movement and leader of the Free Nation in Christ. I greet you and I bring glad tidings. I'm going to make this a short video and um, I'm going to raise some questions about the Why Niger text message I got at 6 59 a.m this morning and and here are the things that i noticed first things first let me read out the text message hi daddy freeze would we'll like to get your response on reports that you'll be granting an interview to biodon fato Imbo soon as part of a series of plans he has outlined with the aim of controlling the narrative on the koza scandal regards why niger controlling the narrative and here's my response I'll, I'll read it out to you i said from the very first video i did on this issue i made it clear that my platform was available to both parties in the spirit of truth and fairness as the scripture teacher that i pride myself to be and brandish with boldness on the bio of all my social media accounts I gave scriptural references of John chapter 7 and 24, James chapter 2 and 1, James chapter 2 and 9, Deuteronomy 1 and 17. I went on, I said, also, I personally find the controlling the narratives, I put that in quotes, somewhat mischievous, especially when it's coming from what's supposed to be a world-class media house which in my opinion should more so concern itself with having an equitable narrative as again suggesting that hearing from the other party would mean controlling the narrative. I do not control rape. I do, sorry, I do not condone rape or abuse of religious office in any way or form. You know what the Free the Sheeple movement stands for. You know what the Free Nation in Christ stands for. And I agree that when an activity seems to raise threats or harm of harm to humans, precautionary measures should be taken even if some cause and effect relationships are not fully established scientifically. I agree. Precautionary measures should be put in place. This notwithstanding, we must judge righteous judgment. John chapter 7 and 24. I'm a scripture teacher. I live by the scriptures. In the court of law, both parties will be entitled to a proper defense team and the right to a fair hearing. Now, since this matter is already being judged before the court of public opinion, I'd like to suggest that those rights be maintained. As you want to, if you were taking this matter to court, listen, everybody will be heard. And 
as you have brought it to the court of public opinion, everybody needs to be heard. And I'm worried. And I said I will share my worry. Is there more to this issue than is meeting the eye? I want to ask, is there more to this? Is it real? Because why should there be an issue if I want to grant Beyond the Fatal Rainbow a platform? Especially when I've made it clear and I'm making it clear again. My platform is open as a pure and fair platform to both Busola and Biodo Fato Imbo. My platform is available to the two of them. Should anyone, if Busola wants to have another interview, you know when you sit down with Daddy Freeze's interview, my platform is open. Should Biodo Fato Imbo or his team want an interview, my platform is open. One clown is here saying that he frees. When he came to insulting Daddy Gio, you didn't waste time. But when he got to Koza, you developed cold feet. You see, when you won't have sense, how can you be this grown and sense has departed from you? I am using the yardstick I use for everybody, GOs, presidents, everybody who comes under my scrutiny is the truth. The scriptural truth. If the Geo or Biodun or Busola do not confirm to that conform to that truth, I will address it. And mind you guys, I stand with Christ. I stand with scriptures. I stand with the truth. I don't know Biodun from anywhere. I don't know him. He's not my friend. Same thing with the Dakul. I don't know them. They're not my friends. They're not, I'm not, it's not something I could be partial about because I don't know any of the parties. But I believe that both parties must be heard. I agree with the precautionary measures. You want to put them in place, put them in place. But for you to be afraid, or let me not use the word, for you to be worried or concerned that I want to give any of the parties an interview, I think it's a bit worrying. Am I the one wrong? Make we judge this matter. Now, I put this up on Facebook where um, there are lots of people who I know on a first-hand basis and the people I speak with and regard as intellectuals. Uh, and I'm going to read what they have to say. Uh, I have 16 comments on the post on Facebook. I'm using Facebook because these are people I know one on one. Tim Carrington. I'm with you, Freeze. Accepting a person's story without an account from the other party involved is wicked and shameful. An individual may be involved in illicit acts, but it doesn't mean they don't have a story to tell about their indiscretion. In addition, the public should be advised. Proverbs 18, 13, Leviticus 19, 15, and John 7, 24. I used John 7, 24 earlier. Sophia Afolake Adeyemi Kanye says, Thank God, finally we will hear his side of the story. Waiting patiently, thanks, Daddy Freeze. Ibe Jr. said, What's their business at Y Niger? Like, why do they want to know? And I, why do you want? I want. Do you know how many? As I'm speaking to you, I'm so busy. I haven't even finished editing the Ubi Franklin interview. I do interviews more or less for a living. So why is an interview with somebody who's in the news who should be interviewed? Why is it? Why is it a question? Why is it even an issue? Then somebody came on to speak. And that person said, um, the person goes by the name uh, Desmond Ifeturi or No Tafe. He says, but Daddy Freeze, have you gotten the story from the other side in the case of Tonto Dike and her former husband? 
Did you just learn how to hear from both sides? And I responded. I said, watch my video. I clearly announced several times that Tonto's ex-husband should come forward should he need to air contrasting views. Please stop being mischievous. Because this particular person, if you watch the Tonto interview, I said, ah, please, oh, or got your chilo. If you get anything where you want to talk, feel free, come and talk. Chris Smasham Obaje says, the, hypo the hypocrisy of some stinks high up there. Why do we accept Busola's account hook, line, and sinker and don't want to hear Fatou Imbo whimper? And what happened with innocent till proven guilty? Same attitude was applied by the Egyptians when Joseph was falsely accused by Potiphar's wife. For the record, the lost books report that a trial was actually held for Joseph and his innocent was proved. But what is the word of a Jewish slave boy against almighty Potiphar's wife in the court of public opinion? So Joseph was sent to jail, though innocent. This was written by Chris Masham Obiaje. Archgood Derai Felum says, time and date, please. Dosumu Benga says, LOL, what narrative? <laughs> the, the one they've already created? I'm not saying anything, who. Prince Nehemiah says, don't mind them, honor the request of the pastor if he wants to set the record straight and let the truth prevail. P. Rash Bosman Ibukun says, this is a new improved version of Daddy Freeze and I'm so impressed at your maturity and not allowing yourself to be manipulated but willing to know the whole truth, not a one-sided version. You can visit my page, Freeze Cool FM, uh, on Facebook and you'd see all those comments there under the Why Niger post. And someone said, Daddy Freeze, they sent you a private message. Why did you make it public? First of all, I don't know them. Why are they sending me private messages? Secondly, when I saw the line controlling the narrative, <laughs> I didn't want my narrative controlled. So I said, whatever I'm going to say, just so that there will not be anybody controlling the narrative i will say it before the public to whom i am accountable somebody says we didn't hear from your from taste bud's ex-husband we didn't even hear from my oh you didn't hear from my oh come on my ex had a long interview on bella niger go go there and watch it I can scroll the link for you where she made all sorts of allegations and where is she today to prove them? <laughs> Same thing happened on the Linda EKG interview with Tazebot. Tazebot said if they have a contrasting view, they should come forward and be granted an interview. So I use the same yardstick for friends, family and strangers. Apart from that, there are also people I consider credit worthy. People like the very famous Jigger Collins on the Free Nation group. And here's what Jigger Collins had to say. With the way things are going, it's becoming clearer that there's more to this scandal than we presumed. By the way, you guys can ask Jigger Collins. Why, Niger? I have to question your intentions here. If you are concluding that Daddy Free's interview with Biodo Fatoimbo is to change the narrative of the story, who then who is to say you haven't changed the narrative of your story? That's Jigger Collins on a post on Facebook. You could check that out. So, a question I have. For why Niger and why Niger people? Should we be worried? Is there more about this than meets the eye? Why shouldn't we have this interview? Why is listen to listen to the text message again? I, I want to read their text message again to you. So let's scrutinize this properly. Hi, Daddy Freeze. We'd like to get your response on reports that you'll be granting an interview to Biodun Fatoimbu. 
An interview that has not happened. An interview I will be granting and you are you and it is reports. Is it not after the interview that you should be making reports? I'm asking no. How can there be reports that I want? I want to grant Obama an interview. You think I don't want to grant Obama an interview? You think I don't want to grant Buhari an interview? You think I don't want to grant Bill Gates an interview? Do you know how many people I want to grant interviews? Are you going to fly reports about every single person I want? As I'm sitting down now, hmm, let me think. I want to grant... Jeff Bezos an interview. When am I going to see the report? Why are you not going to question the fact that I want to... I, I just said it now. I want to grant Jeff Bezos an interview. Why are you not going to make an issue out of it? So please, let, 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 let's address that. How can you... How can there be an issue over something I want... It's not... I've not done, no. You did not see me and Biodo Fatou in both sitting down talking, no. And you took pictures of us talking. Then you say, ah, is this a... You just report. Something is smelling like fish. To me, oh, I don't know about to you people. Do you know the list of people I've scared? I want to grant Annie and Two-Face an interview. Just so people you know. Maybe why not? I'll write about that too. But Two-Face schedule is crazy, Annie's schedule is crazy, my schedule is crazy. What do I do? Please, oh, I also want to grant Two-Face and Annie an interview. Let's, 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 let's discuss this. Let's read. You see, I'm glad they didn't put a call through to me. I'm glad it's a text message. And I've learned from now onwards... Anybody that wants to interview me, just send me your question. Don't send me many questions because I don't have time. I'll ignore it. Like they send me this, their one line, one uh, text message. I can address it and address it from every angle. Hi, Daddy Freeze. We would like to get your response on reports that you'll be granting an interview to Biodo Fatu Imbu. Why do you need my response? What's wrong in me granting him an interview? Is it a matter? Is it, is it something we should be discussing? Oh, damn, but no, I don't even want to grant him an interview again. What will you do? So I want, my intentions are now being judged before what I intended to do or have not done. Let, let's, let's, come on. And he says, I'm planning to grant him an interview soon. You don't even know the date. So just as me, I'm hoping to grant an interview to both parties, you two are hoping, and then you want me to come and talk on your hope. Then they went on to say, as part of a series of plans. So first of all, I am I'm planning to grant, and he has plans. Are you people at Wine Niger now planning committee? You are helping me plan my interview, and you are think you are already thinking of his series of plans that he has outlined with the aim of controlling the narrative. How can you control the narrative when it's just one narrative? Which one is there? It's only one narrative. How can you control that as one narrative? If it was a balanced narrative, then let's imagine the other don't do interview. Bagam. Eh, hey, Busola don't do interview. Big game. Then me can't go give Biodu extra interview. I no can't give Busola interview. Then you can say I am controlling the narrative. Emma, Emma, Emma Kai, but then lo no I want way. Be reading the English you are using. Controlling the narrative. Who they con? That's what I want to ask you. Inside this, who is controlling narrative? Is it me? Ah, a mama will me run. She minimum control narrative. Hmm. 
Ah, please you. Maybe I should just withdraw from this case totally. Maybe I, know, I, I don't know anything, you. So please, eh? People at Why Niger, my plans and intentions, I do not owe to tell you. If you see the one I have done and you comment, it's you whose business. But the one that I have not done, that I am planning to do, what if it never happens? Let me ask, okay, what if I'm planning, but he's too busy, I'm too busy, or we just can't hit a convenient time, so it just never happens. So come on. And listen, let me warn you guys. I am not the bulldog of the anti-church movement. I am a teacher of the scriptures. Kindly refer to my bio. I came to teach you these scriptures. The day it does not favor pastor, I will drag pastor. The day it does not favor you, I will drag you. Prepare yourselves. So, I'm going to read comments from uh, Instagram Live because I'm feeding this live. So, please kindly go ahead. I'm going to take three or should I take maybe four um, comments? Oh, yeah. Over to you. I've not eaten all day. As you are seeing me, hunger is wiring me. They are cooking my edikai corn. Babes! Are you ready? I'm ready. Is the food ready? Yes, now I'm here. Oh, yeah. So I should come and join you there, B. Where are you eating? Upstairs. Okay, I'll eat with you upstairs. Uh, serving my food. Anybody that has questions, please, please. I have three questions. Make I go chop. I never learned since morning. And that taste buds at the Kaikon with guinea fowl. Make una petro nice taste buds, guinea fowl meat. Eh? Somebody's asking me, are you paid for this? When you get home, ask your father in the house. Because you want to be stupid. I will. Baba, you know stupid rich me. Read about me. I'm a, an extremely foolish person. So I will drag me and you together. Was I paid for this? It was your father that paid me. Olofu. Please, please, please. Any question? Sensible people that want to ask questions. Thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone. It's not just an heads up. Feeling you in the pastor's plans and they want to know what your intentions are. What's their business with my intentions? Please, you, my darling, my darling, my darling, let me see, let me see what taste buds, what I'm going to go and be demolishing. You see? Let me show you. It's, I don't want it to see it's guinea fowl with catfish. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, uh, guys, you will see this. Can you see the catfish? Where's the head of the catfish? Yes, and then there's guinea fowl meat by the side. Calm down, uh, YouTube people. I will still show you your old. Hold on, let me also show you too. This is this. How come why Niger did not write about my plans? Or my, let me see the word they use. Or my reports that I'll be eating my edikaiko. See the edikaiko. The catfish. You can see the pomo. That's pomo right there. That's the head of the catfish. That's a big pounded yam. That's a piece of guinea fowl meat. This is what I'm planning to do. Since you people like to know about my plans. Eh? You people should like the response. That I'll be eating my edikai kong with pounded yam and catfish and guinea fowl and pomo. Eh? When I don't talk again, 
See now. Oi, oi, oi. Oh boy, this food juicy. <laughs> the ball of pound too big. Posh mama, now you want chop arm. This one where I go still use eye. Give children. I may they go bring small more. This whole thing I go chop and call me now. I go take do after dark with that. By the way, join me. Yes, so my resource. Since today I'm running around, I'm just wearing a tracer. So as soon as I not agree, ask question. I feel go chop. When I not get question, when I not get question. Okay, bye. Okay, sorry. Ewa Jeongu. Ha! These are my real intentions. You two, you two want to see me eat. God bless you guys. Look at my love X. I don't start to the dissect the catfish. Hmm. I don't move the guinea fowl. Go here. Hmm. I don't reach the pound and half. Hmm? Why not? I can't chop. 